I thought we had uh, good improvement today and good energy um, made it through. And uh, a couple of the things that I've really noticed, I think uh, Sean um, really did a nice job uh, throwing the football today and gaining more and more understanding of our full playbook. And so in our opening game, you know, we're going to be able to be uh, much more um, versatile than we were last year with him. And I think Tyler uh, – is really doing some good things as well. Defensively, Chad Muma keeps on showing up. He's a guy who's, you know, he played some last year, uh, but uh, he's understanding our defense more. And so he's a guy we're really gonna uh, really count on and he'll play an awful lot during the course. And we got some seasoned veteran guys there. You know, I think back in the secondary, you know, certainly losing uh, the two safeties, but Braden Smith's been doing a good job there. Uh, up front in the offensive line, now Logan Harris continues to, uh, be really uh, an improved player, so we're encouraged about that. And it's great having Alonzo Velasquez and uh, Rudy Stouffer anchoring the tackles down. So kind of where we're at, uh, practice tens in the books. I think we made progress. So with that, I'll open up to questions. Greg, with uh, Ravante out, you know, I know that's a big mm -hmm. goal along the defensive line. Yep. You know, who do you, who do you kind of turn to or who's well, maybe Well, uh, we're going to get into a three-man rotation. Um, you know, We'll, we'll look at uh, Javari Jackson. Uh, he'll be a guy that, you know, had been counting on playing. Mario Mora is going to be a guy that, that will move up also. Um, and I'm trying to think of some of the other guys that we have in there. Those will be the two main Victor. Victor, Victor will be a guy that will rotate in there also. Mm -hmm. Was he done with an ACL? Is that yes. Right? Yeah, it was, okay. uh, it was unfortunate. It was, uh, um, you know, a surgery that was done a couple years ago and the graft didn't take and it's uh, gotten – torn and, and so he'll have that resurgery again. How much of a concern is that depth? I mean, I know it was uh, already, already thin before that. That's a concern. Yeah. Uh, we've been pleased with the progress of the other guys, but certainly, you know, last year we were much deeper in the interior defensive line, uh, but it's time to grow up. You know, I, I believe our opponents don't really care how thin we yeah. are. We've got to We've got to get our guys ready to go. Do you give Josiah more looks on the interior? Uh, thus far, we have not. He's okay. always been capable of playing inside. You know, we're looking at a couple other guys before we would do that. Rick, you mentioned you're at the halfway point and some of the progress, mm -hmm. you know, Sean and yep. Harris make. Where are some areas that are, are still a bit of a concern mm -hmm. for you at, at the midway point of, of camp now? Um, you know, I think uh, at times our wide receivers uh, need to be a little bit more consistent than what they are. Uh, certainly, um, you know, we need to leverage our strength at corner. Um, I'm concerned about our safety position simply because we've not played as much as we have. And then the biggest concern you have is just our depth at the defensive tackle position. Who, who, are, who are some of those other guys at defensive tackle that you haven't named that you're, you're looking at? Well, um, you know what, as we go, they're still unnamed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's as clear as I can be. Craig, you mentioned, you know, linebacker with movement, but you know, a guy like Cash, who's uh -huh been very productive, but played with a broken thumb and a, right. and a bad elbow. And when your linebacker wrapping up uh -huh. and shedding tackles, that's hard. How, so it seems like he's healthy, but he, how has he, he been doing? He certainly, uh, but the real proof's going to be him wrapping up because that was a deficiency he had. And it's hard to fold him last year with a club or a, a brace on his arm. And he's 100% right now. Uh, he's moving really well. And uh, so it'll, we have not, he's not done a lot of live tackling. And we'll get into that here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Any other injury concerns? No, nope, not, not right now. I think we're pretty doggone healthy. Yep. I know it's, you know, you take it one practice at a time, but, you know, on Saturday where you guys scrimmage, will that be a significant scrimmage Yes, on it'll Saturday? be a significant scrimmage. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as we go through the week, how healthy we are, uh, we'll determine how many plays we're going to have, but it'll be a really important scrimmage and probably be pretty lengthy. Seems like the last year or so that – it's been a lot of talk about receivers and consistency. Mm -hmm. What is it specifically with that group that you that well, you Well, I, I think what we had, you know, the bar was pretty doggone high a couple yeah. of years ago. And playmakers, there were many times that, you know, a couple of those guys would be covered and we'd come down with the football. So not only the wide receivers, but the tight end position. And, uh, you know, we need to have some of those guys make plays when their ball's up in the air and it's contested. And thus far, Last year, last couple of years, they'll make plays when nobody's around. But mm -hmm. when somebody's around, uh, I always say there's two hungry dogs and one piece of meat. And one dog's getting the meat. We need to get the meat. Craig, I know Alan Smith has been, you know, a freshman at nickel getting mm -hmm. looks. And I know some of the coaches have been pleased. Have you been pleased with that? Is he still competing? Oh, for he, to, he's to... competing, but he's got a little bit of ways to go. And he'll go mm -hmm. up and down. That's what he's been doing. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate